Welcome, Earthlings. I uh, got Mazeo here, and I just had my birthday. So I got tons of uh, extra moolah for my Steam account, and uh, pardon my my uh, folks who are, are mowing right now. So I apologize if you guys can hear that, but um, because I'm right next to a window. But yeah, I I finally got some money that I could splurge on my Steam wallet and therefore I could buy like a fourth of the wish list that I have currently and Vanishing of Ethan Carter was on that list so it's a bit it's a bit late I know I'm late to the party but I thought it'd be cool because I'm finally getting into this weird like uh look see Lou, figure out what the heck's going on kind of games. I don't know why I'd never played them before, but I'm really enjoying them. So, uh, first of all, I want to see if I can maybe control the music, because music is always way too loud, and then the voices need to be higher. It's like, I, I'm probably screwing this up, but I don't know. Alright. Mother, shush. Shush, I know they can hear you. I can hear you quite loudly. All right. Uh, but I might have to change some key bindings. I don't know. I, I don't know what they are. So, uh, shall we begin a game? Maybe? Yeah, let's go. Woo. I'm excited. Ah! ah! That's a cool loading screen. You got a... Whatever those are called. You know, I'm usually pretty good at knowing the names of punctuation markings. This game is a narrative experience that does not hold your hand. Oh, goody. I'm so good at those. <laughs> not. That was sarcasm. Ethan Carter I didn't know. But he knew who I was. Did he? When the police won't help you and the priests don't believe you, you call on Paul Prospero. You call on me. If you're a kid like Ethan, you're right. Plenty do. Ethan's letter started out just like any other fan mail. But soon there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. There are places that exist that very few people can see. Ethan could have drawn a map. I hadn't entered Red Creek Valley yet, but already I could feel its darkness reaching out for me. Finding Ethan Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. I was too late for that. To find Ethan, I had to figure out what this place was trying to hide from me. Alright, well... Sorry, I was trying to be... Oh, God, freaking my keyboard. It doesn't want to... I've got like little the little sticky things on it, so whenever you like scooch it around the desk, it doesn't scuff the wood. But they keep falling off, and it's really annoying because it makes my keyboard uneven when I'm trying to play. Sorry, I muted the mic whilst the cutscene was happening because my mother is still mowing, and the guy was talking. But I figured now it's just gonna ruin immersion. It's not actually gonna be too um, story breaking though. I have a zooming mechanic. Yes, I missed this from Gone Home. Uh, which was the first first of these games that I played that I actually really liked. And I was just like, I want to find more in this genre. And I didn't realize this game was in that genre. Because I've seen people play it. It was quite popular. But, I don't know. <laughs> I think I might have some lagging issues. But I, I'm not entirely sure. It's pretty low, but I can't tell too much, so hey, I might need to turn down some of the graphic settings, because holy crap, this is pretty. I can't jump, though. That's unfortunate. This is me trying to jump. Huh. Oh, good golly, this game is pretty, isn't it? Holy crapolas. Tree. Oh, tree. Tree is slightly 2D. That's okay. Because that is glorious. Holy crap. 
This game is so pretty. I really want to turn down the, the settings, though, because, my goodness. It's, it's pretty slow. Okay, so I'm looking for this kid who was apparently a fan of me. Called Ethan Carter. His name was Ethan Carter. Oh. I don't know. Am I gonna fall? Red Creek Valley. Seemed eh? like a quiet, ordinary place. I've learned two things in my life. No place is truly quiet, and nowhere is really ordinary. Ethan warned me about that. Warned me not to be fooled by what I saw here. He didn't need to worry. I'd worked dozens of cases, hundreds. This would be my last one. Are we gonna die, or are we retiring? Ah oh, man, I'm just enjoying the scenery here. This is a beautiful game. My computer can't handle it, it's so pretty. I'm only getting like 20, 20 frames. That's crazy. Whatever. It's fun, I can play in this. I can play in this. You guys probably can't watch in this, but that's your problem. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, it's just so pretty. Oh, I can't get over how pretty it is. I don't care about this Ethan Carter. Oh, it's so lifelike. Maybe if I get real close, it'll look less life. There you go. There we go. There is that that less lifelike. I feel I feel grounded. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to go on an adventure. <laughs> I immediately thought, should I pick the purple flowers? And then realized I wasn't in Skyrim. Um, alright. So... Now we are to... I keep trying to jump. It's not gonna happen. No, okay. That's not... Ooh, we have a sprint button. Nice. Wait, does that mean run from bad guys? Does the sprinting mean run from bad guys? Oh, goodness. Oh, invisible wall. Come on. Whee! Oh. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. That doesn't look very nice. Oh! Oh, what's that? How do I do that? Rest of the corpse? Blood trail. Victim dragged away, crawled away? Severed legs. Ugh! Ugh! I didn't realize this was gonna be so gory. God, I love gore! <laughs> Is that weird? I love gore! When it's fake. If it's real, I I'll you can pass out. Oh. Yeah, it looks like you crawled away. Blood from legs. Fractured skull. Cause of death. Cause of death, obviously, he was run over by a train. Don't touch it. Ew. Not yet. Don't touch it yet. Disturbed by third party. Oh! What's happening? Huh? Huh? I'm touching it. I'm touching it. I don't know what's happening. Am I supposed to do something else? Oh. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what happened. Eh? Eh? What? I'm so confused. Am I supposed to look at his brain? Your face is smaller this way. Oh, I know. Alright, I don't know. Ooh. I'm gonna do a thing real quick. I'm gonna see if I can fix the lag, because that is gonna bother. Alright, I think I, uh... I think I sort of fixed it. It's a little bit better now, anyway. I'm at... <laughs> At least it's not going quite as slow. It was doing pretty good until I turned fraps on. But it is it is still better, though. So, still don't know what I'm doing, though. I don't... 
don't know what's going on with that. I'm just going to ignore it for now. Let's see where to go now. I don't know. Should I go down to the beach? Can I even? That's not lag. That's just the game being shaky. I don't know what that is. It's weird. It's so such a pretty game. Oh. Rotate. Oh, it's bloody. Should I take it? Well, I took it. Okay. Cool. I really wish I could jump, man. <laughs> this is such a cool game, though. I'm really enjoying this. This is weird. This is only going to be a first impressions game uh, video, though. I'm just, I'm warning you right now. I'm not doing a playthrough of this. I'm sorry. Because I don't, I don't think I can play it in a full playthrough of it. At least not until I've, I've finished it. Because I know, I know for a fact that I'm going to be super slow in figuring anything out. And, I, and I'm just, I'm just going to want to wander around way too much. And it's, it's not going to be very interesting at all. Um, also the, uh, the low frame rate is kind of bothering me, <laughs> and it was working perfectly fine with, without fraps, so, I think, um, I'm, and I've already got, um, Vampire the Masquerade going, and Dragon Age, so, I will be playing those at some point, <laughs> when I finally find the time. But I was just I was just so excited to check this out and, and I feel like every time I get a new game I have to record at least a little bit of it. Just to uh to show that I, I am I am still alive. I'm just excited because I got new games. <laughs> Should I be exploring the entire area? I have no idea. It feels like there's nothing out here, but then again there I could just be completely missing everything. Whoa! What is this? What? Ah! Is this a pattern thing? What? Hello, astronaut man! I'm gonna follow you. Where'd you go? There he is. Is this a future thing? He doesn't look very future -y. I heard him over here. Ahaha! Ha. Where are you going? Where you go? There he is. Where are you taking me, Mr. Astronaut? Oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Astronaut? What? You just took me in a circle, dude. Where Ethan Carter went. Hey, I'm getting 60 FPS. This is so weird. Extraterrestrial containment capsule. Was I supposed to get abducted by aliens? I don't know. Was this a bad decision? This is so cool though. <laughs> Space. Space? The glass is dusty. I mean it would be, there's lots of dust in space. Are those other humans? Am I supposed to be doing something? It's kind of a low resolution uh, 
nebula there. This is so strange. What am I supposed to be doing? I don't know. What is happening? Oh! Oh. Read. Fangs. The beast had fangs, but was heavy and slow, so when it saw the light in the sky, it waited, thinking the light would go out, like the others before it. When it did not, the beast stood, rose up, what? The beast stood, rose up on its legs, and went to the place where the fire was still burning. As the orange light died, another took its place. This one was blue and bright and pure. Blue. This one was blue, a bright and pure blue, that the creature had only seen along the edges of the stars. <laughs> the beast shed its fangs, and the light vanished. A moment later, the light appeared again between two distant trees. The beast wanted to go home, but could not ignore the light, so it chased it deeper into the forest. Was that the astronaut man? When the light stopped, it did some... Uh, what? So... What? It did so much clearing of the trees. <laughs> the beast entered the circle, feeling no fear. The trees turned toward the beast, pointing at it like needles. But the top of the trees lowered and dug into the ground. The trunks and roots were raised into the air and closed around the beast like walls. As the ground disappeared, the beast realized it would never use its fangs again. That's so weird. Get out of my room, Travis! Stories, Oops. stories, always with the stories. Get out! I read the fangs one. I liked uh, the beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. What? What? So I was not abducted by aliens. That's unfortunate. I wanted to see aliens. Uh, that was that was Ethan though. So Ethan's a little kid then. All right. Abstruse tales. Gaylord. Gaylord Fokker? <laughs> huh. Is that the same story I just read? Yeah. Oops. Huh. This is weird. Alright, well, I think I am going to leave it there. So, if y'all liked the game, if you liked some sort of aspect, the prettiness, the weird small child that we're apparently supposed to find, um, the fact that you get abducted by aliens, uh, if, if you like any of that, it's, what was it, 20 bucks on Steam, I believe? It's pretty cheap. So, uh, go get it. Seriously. It looks really cool. I'm very impressed. Let's play this together, man. Let's do it. <laughs> Alright. Toodles, Earthlings.